When individuals seek relief from erectile dysfunction, ED, a pivotal decision arises, choosing between medications such as Tadalafil and Sildenafil. In the past, when these drugs were branded as Cialis and Viagra, they incurred substantial costs and often led to battles with insurance companies. The advent of generics has transformed this landscape, allowing a broader population to benefit from these highly effective medications. Advising patients to try both separately initially enables them to identify the most effective and side-effect friendly option given the current affordable prices. Comparing mechanism of action, sildenafil and tadalafil operate as PDE5 inhibitors, slowing or halting the action of the phosphodiesterase type 5 enzyme. This mechanism enhances blood flow to the penis during arousal, facilitating a satisfactory erection. It is crucial to recognize that these drugs don't increase sexual desire, but rather optimize the penis's ability to fill with blood. Success rates are not universal, varying with the severity of ED. Patients often need to adjust their dosage as ED progresses, and sustained success may necessitate alternative interventions. Comparing onset time, both medications take approximately 30 to 60 minutes to initiate their effects, aiding patients in achieving the desired erection. Tadalafil peaks in the blood after two hours, while sildenafil does so after about one hour. Administering the medication an hour or two before sexual activity is recommended, but individual response times can vary. Sildenafil may be somewhat hindered after consuming a large, fatty meal, a concern not shared by tadalafil. This aspect makes sildenafil suitable for couples with a more predictable sex life, while tadalafil might be preferable for those in the early stages of dating when larger meals are common. Comparing duration of action, Tadalafil emerges as the victor in terms of duration, allowing erections for up to 36 hours after ingestion, especially in younger patients or milder cases of ED. Sildenafil remains effective for 4 to 6 hours. Both drugs, however, only enhance erections when desire is present. Comparing side effects, while both Sildenafil and Tadalafil may induce side effects, they are generally well tolerated. Headaches, nausea, Flushing, stuffy nose, indigestion, and dizziness are potential side effects of sildenafil. In contrast, tadalafil may cause unique symptoms like back pain, cough, and upper respiratory tract infections. Recent studies have suggested a potential reduction in the risk of early death from heart disease with these medications. Comparing drug interactions, patients must disclose their use of nitrates to mitigate the risk of a sudden drop in blood pressure when using ED medication. Recreational, poppers, should not be taken concurrently with these medications. Consulting with healthcare professionals is crucial to ensure safe medication use. Addressing erectile dysfunction progression. Erectile dysfunction medications offer transient improvements in blood flow, but do not reverse the underlying vascular issues. As ED progresses, alternative treatments such as injections or penile prostheses may become necessary. Assessing erection quality. Studies indicate that slightly more men achieved a satisfactory erection with sildenafil, but tadalafil, remaining in the bloodstream longer, was preferred by more men. The bottom line, given the affordability of generic options, prescribing a single-ed drug for every patient may not be necessary. Each medication possesses unique benefits and risks, prompting a comprehensive discussion during consultations. With current prices, most patients can safely explore both sildenafil and tadalafil to identify the most suitable option for their needs. Immediate discontinuation and switching to another medication are advised if any side effects arise, with prompt medical attention sought for severe or persistent effects. Emphasizing the personalized approach in selecting ED medication ensures optimal outcomes for individuals seeking relief.